How did China build the first submarine ever constructed anywhere on the planet? Rapid transportation. People all around the world have been paying attention to China's infrastructure growth since the beginning of this decade. Their efforts have put the world's infrastructures to the test, allowing China to construct one technical wonder after another. They have one of the world's most extensive rail networks, and its high-speed rail is both the fastest and the longest. No country has ever surpassed it to this day. The first underwater high-speed rail line to be completed in China will have a peak speed of 350 kilometers per hour and will cost China $60 billion. This huge endeavor will push the boundaries of human capability. Building this technical progress has also astounded the whole planet. If you came to China 10 years ago, you would know that the country did not start building high. Speed rail until more than Despite this growth of high-speed rail in China, the developed nation has made significant progress since the construction of the country's first high-speed rail line in 2008, which was expected to reach speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour. The railroad industry's technology is years behind where it should be. They investigated railway technologies used in nations such as Great Britain, Germany, and others. After a while, they started doing their own research and developing innovative ideas. After 2008, China started to build high-speed rail lines connecting all of its cities throughout the nation. More than 70% of the world's high-speed trains now go more than 40,000 kilometers, which is an increase of more than 9,000 kilometers from 2012. There's not been any building done as of yet. High-speed rail has been built up to its full extent of 30,000 kilometers. From 450 kilometers per hour, the maximum allowed speed has been decreased to 350 kilometers per hour. The new maglev high-speed train, which was developed utilizing cutting-edge technology, is now capable of traveling at speeds of up to 650 kilometers per hour. The high-speed rail line that runs throughout China travels at the same rate as an Which one of China's cities would that be? Is this a replacement or a quickening of the velocity of a train? Only 5.5 million people call the Chinese seaside city of Chantel their home. Chantel is a relatively tiny city in China. In spite of this, the city's location is very important to the general growth and development of China. It is possible that Taiwan is situated to the east of the city sea area in the Chinese province of Hainan, while the South China Sea is found to the south of the city sea region. The importance of the city of Haiyan to China may be broken down into three categories – the economy, the energy sector, and the armed forces. China has every right to claim Taiwan as part of its own territory. Taiwan. This city, which is only separated from Taiwan by an ocean, is slated to become the location of China's first underwater high-speed train, which the country has planned to construct. However, despite appearances, it is not a simple undertaking at all. The ecosystem that can be found on the surface of the ocean is significantly simpler than the one that can be found within a submarine. This is a really difficult endeavor to do. After all, there have never been any attempts made to construct a high-speed railroad under the surface of the water. Many nations in the Western Hemisphere are having trouble grasping the enormity of this catastrophe. Could construct a train that operated underground and was capable of reaching tremendous speeds. Establishing a path that is submerged in water is the first step. The length of this tunnel under the ground is 9,781 meters. It is a high-speed train tunnel that is located under the water and has one gap between the two tracks. Both the water and the plane are moving at a pace of 350 kilometers as per hour. The water is 100 meters deep. In order to make the complex's seabed usable for development, a lot of difficult geological difficulties need to be handled first. In addition to the enormous pressure of the water, there's also the presence of the ocean, wind waves, and rapid flow. In addition to a large number of additional unfavorable construction situations, when exposed to salt water, metals corrode quite quickly. The prevention of the corrosion of building components brought on by exposure to salt water will be the first challenge that the project will face at the location where it is intended to take place. A significant quantity of rock has to be removed from a single site. In contrast to working on land, however, explosive blasting cannot be used to finish this operation. In addition to that, the seabed shattered me into 17 separate pieces. The finding of a seismic zone with a magnitude of 8 in the Pacific Rim volcanic seismic zone presented a significant challenge to the project, which has already been plagued by a number of obstacles. 
Two of the most important technologies throughout the whole of the subsea project are the maintenance of the undersea tunnel's structural integrity and the provision of electricity for the high-speed train. The construction team has honed its techniques for building and opening, and they used a shield machine that China had only lately manufactured to meet the requirements for tunnel opening and lying on the seabed. Additionally, the construction team has mastered the technology used for building and opening the underwater tunnel structure. The pressurization resistance of the materials and systems used in the construction of the undersea tunnel structural components is ensured. This ensures that the high-speed rail will run continuously within a safe depth and that there will be no difficulties with the overall project safety or the operations that will follow. It is possible that tidal energy, which is the most abundant source of energy on the world, might be the answer to the problem of undersea electricity. On the other hand, the problem of how much technology costs has been around since the first century, and it is a problem that no government has ever been able to address. But now, China has found a solution to this worldwide problem by harnessing energy. The electrical problem that they solved, which ultimately allowed them to create this undersea project, by utilizing parallel place tidal power generators to supply energy for a submerged high-speed railway. China has not only raised the bar for the quality of its infrastructure, but it has also overcome the technical and financial challenges associated with tidal power generator. The utilization of parallel tidal power turbines in China made the accomplishment of this goal possible. Recently, some countries have come to the realization that this technology has a great deal of potential and that we are amazed at its success. China is demonstrating its overall leadership in a variety of industries at a time when conventional forms of energy such as fossil fuels are running out and new energy technologies are becoming more widely available as a result of the development of an underground high-speed railway. The high-speed railway that will run beneath the ocean is currently undergoing construction, and it is anticipated that passenger service will begin in the year 2026. When this significant achievement is realized, China will become the very first country in the world to put Introduce technology for rails that run beneath the sea as soon as you can. Since the country's inception, China has always been a highly developed and peaceful place so long as its citizens have concentrated on bettering themselves and put the ideology of one way, one belt, one road into practice. In addition to this, he is excited to share the benefits of his achievements with others and make a positive impact on the development of other countries. As a consequence of this, we believe that Taiwan and other coastal cities that are separated by straits would benefit from the technology of China's underground high CP train system on the western side of the ocean. We have reason to believe that China will one day construct a high-speed rail link to Taiwan, which will make it simpler for people to travel back and forth between the two regions. It is possible to save more time. It's possible to make the case that it serves a lot of purposes. What are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. Other unsettling videos may be watched by clicking on the links below.